What's up, Mopar fam? I hope everybody's having a blessed day out there. We got Project Storm on the lift again. Going under the knife, we're going to be doing some upgrades to it. And today we're going to be working on the fuel system. We got a new Holly Sniper 340 uh, fuel pump that we're going to be trying to install in the stock fuel basket to upgrade the fuel system a little bit as per some of the last videos you guys seen when we were doing some data logs with the new Holly High Ram um, and everything we got going on with Project Storm, we are starting to run out of fuel. Uh, we are right there at the borderline of what the stock fuel pump is being able to keep up with. So we went with Holly. We got a Holly 340 Sniper pump. Um, as this truck's running pump fuel, we don't need a tremendous amount of fuel upgrade to this thing. We just need some more fuel. So we're trying to see if we can get this 340 sniper to fit in the stock basket and if it will fit and work this should supply us with more than enough fuel for what we're doing with project storm so yeah this is the little holly sniper 340 pump pretty cool nice slim little profile i'm hoping we should be able to make this fit pretty easily it also comes with a filter sock to put on the end of the pump uh, it comes with some hose clamps and the specs on this thing's really not bad. Um, again, this is an in-tank electric EF5 fuel pump, 340 liters per hour, and it's capable of supporting up to 700 EF5 horsepower. Now that's more than enough for what we need. Uh, you know, storm probably to the flywheel is, you know, maybe around the 550 range, maybe 600, somewhere in there. So I think this is gonna be more than enough we just need a little more fuel because wideband gauge is just barely on the lean side. So this should get us fixed up to where we can enjoy the truck again and hit the track and beat on her. So let's get the tank dropped and get this stock fuel hat out and try to make this Holly 340 pump fit inside the Ram stock basket. Here we go. Before we pull the fuel tank out of Project Storm, let's give everybody a little rundown under the hood of Project Storm and what we got going on. So this is Project Storm, stock 5.7, completely stock, stock head, stock cam, stock, stock, stock. Only thing we got going on, obviously we got the Holly High Ram and definitely got the Torque Storm Supercharger going on. We have an air to air intercooler behind the grill um, we got Carnage Performance Exhaust, 3-inch all the way back. This is Project Storm's exhaust system. We got 3-inch piping all the way back. True Dual Exhaust from Carnage Performance Mufflers. And we even have Project Storm on the mufflers. And then we go into an X-Pipe from Carnage. Splits around the transfer case as Project Storm is a 4x4. And then we run into the Texas Speed long tube headers that they just came out with. Which are the 2 inch primaries. And they fit absolutely amazing for anybody that wants to know. And we have a full video on those headers on the YouTube channel. So if you want to check that out. Um, we have the full installation video and an unboxing video that you can check out if you're interested in the Texas Speed headers. And we also have a video of the exhaust sound and the Carnage mufflers and exhaust system. As if you're interested, and this truck is hellaciously loud and it sounds awesome. And also to add, it's 100% street legal. We have high flow cats on it, so it's got converters and everything. And this truck is every bit of as loud as frostbite. And that is no joke. So what we have here today, we got a couple special little tools to help us get this fuel tank out. Um, we are going to be getting this great big old black fuel tank out right here um, you got two band straps you got one right here you got one going across right here 
All right, Mopar fam, we have Storm's fuel tank out and it is pretty dang dirty. So we got the bladder, we got the bladder of Storm out. All right, so check this out. So here's the tank and it's pretty filthy. It's been in there for many years now. We got pine straw up here, all kind of stuff. So what we did, a little hack, take a rubber glove, cut the fingers off, zip tie them around your fuel inlets, all your hose connections, stretch, stretch one over here like an old little condom, mm -hmm. put one over here, and we put one over here. Hello, air hose. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this tank outside, uh, we're gonna get the compressed air, we're gonna blow off all the loose dirt, because um, we want to get all of this up here clean because when we remove this uh, this uh, fuel pump we don't want all of this garbage falling down into our tank and clogging up stuff and causing us problems so stay tuned we're gonna get this thing cleaned up and we'll be right back with you here in a minute all right so we have the tank down here we blew all the loose stuff off with compressed air now we're spraying some degreaser on it and we're gonna give it a quick little blow off, wash down, and then we should be able to start taking that pump out. All right, night and day difference. We're not trying to win the clean award here, but most of all the loose grime and junk is gone. So I feel better about pulling out the pump. So let's get to it. All right, Mopar fam. Here is our modified basket. We have the Holly Sniper 340 pump installed, as you can see. We did have to cut out a part of the basket that holds in the factory motor. Um, as the back or the top of the motor on the factory ram clips into this plastic piece, well, this part sits inside the ring right here, and we had to cut this out to be able to slide our Holly sniper 340 uh, far enough up to be able to put the basket back together um, otherwise it sticks out too far and you can't get your basket back on um, so we did have to clip this out of the basket right here and then that lets our motor come up high enough that we can assemble the basket and fits in there pretty good um, other than that we cut the factory connector off of the stock fuel pump which is this guy here as you can see we left a little bit of wiring on there just in case one day if we ever need it um, so we cut that off and then what we did is we just uh, used some butt connectors to connect the red positive and the black ground from the holly 340 sniper to the factory wiring right here um, so that's pretty much it and only other thing we did is on the bottom we pulled off this little the uh, little rubber I call it like a duck bill valve whatever you want to call it it's like a little valve we pulled that out um, so that it will help fill up the basket a little bit especially if we're lower on fuel um, but that's it. So we're going to get this thing installed and see what happens. Also want to note, you're going to see this on the old motor. You have two lines. You got your big main feed. And then you also have a smaller little hose here that runs to this little guy here. Got this little blue fitting with it. That is not being used anymore. We just have that hose tucked down here in the basket um, so we are not running that to anything it is just there but it's not doing anything um, so if you're wondering that's what we did with it other than that let's go get this basket installed all right guys we got the modified fuel hat back in project storm got the holly in there 
and we just went out for a little test drive make sure everything's going good so far so good um, we did give it a little bit of a throttle whack down here on a back road and per the wideband we went pig rich um, so if you know on the last video we did some logging and we found out we were going too lean well it was going pig rich it was going 10 o's um, under wide open throttle so we definitely have more fuel now um, so we should be probably pretty good so now we gotta start dialing and taking some fuel out and get our fuel back where we need to be around that 11 and a half zone and uh storm should be a runner so that holly sniper 340 is definitely moving some fuel and i think it's gonna be more than enough for project storm for right now especially for the money um super cheap fuel upgrade right there took us a couple hours to do it and uh let's see what happens so we're gonna do some logging check it out and see if it's going to work out for us but i think it's going to be right on the money so as always guys stay tuned don't forget hit that subscribe button give the video a thumbs up and we'll see you guys on the next one